Tennessee at 18 and 2. A young man that transferred in from Clemson was part of their ACC championship team last year. And a good start to this one for Amick. Riding an 18 game hit streak. Fly ball out to center. TJ McCants back to the edge of the warning track will make the catch. The foot comes up and goes down. And does that. Mm -hmm. Slaps it out to right. Yeah. And that's a balk. The 2 2 with one out. That one is laced back up the middle. Gage Miller coming around third. He will score easily in an RBI for Ian Petrutz, his 16th of the year, and Bama off to a good start, leading one to nothing. 3 2 lifted high in the air. Christian Moore says he has it, and he does. Just off the plate. Ball that just has that much arm side ride. Line, that's over the glove of Eblen out into right field. They will keep Stark at second base. So two on and nobody out here now for Tennessee. Down a run. Tort hold it by himself. Yeah. Nobody wants to that's tie right. it for the record. I mean, he wants to tie. But he gets the walk there, and now they're loaded. Gets second. Lifted high in the air. Will Hodo drops oh, it. Infield fly rule, though, will be in effect, but my goodness. Tennessee just couldn't cash in. Not out of it yet, though. This one looks like it may get in. It will. It one hops off the wall with two outs. Everybody's running. They'll send Burke around third. Here's the throw from LeBron. It is. Not in time, gets past the catcher, Gassetti, and that will allow Dryling to get all the way to third base as he clears them all, and Tennessee has the lead. Stays through the zone, and even though he came up empty his first at bat, he gets a fastball right down Broadway and carves it into left center field. Thought, thought Bama did a nice job on this replay. LeBron throws a strike to Gassetti, and Gassetti maybe just barrels that one. Down the left field line, off the fence it goes. A run will score again as Dryling touches home, and Villeneuve ends up with a double as he slides head first into second base and picks up his 18th run batted in this year. And you said it before, it was just uh, one pitch away from getting out of this mess. LeBron across the diamond, and there is the third out. 72% whiff rate on the slider. No whiff there. And that was pretty quick. Yeah, I'd say that was probably at the one-minute mark. And McCants on a two-strike pitch delivers a base hit to the right side. 20-game heater, Dave. And he's chasing Joe DiMaggio. And picked up an RBI his first time up. Ground ball to the right side. That is through the hole. They're going to wave the runner. Here comes Gage Miller, the throw. Cut off by Burke to third they go. And McCants is safe. Another RBI and another good piece of hitting by Ian Petrutz. Tennessee kind of conceding this run if that's what Slight wants to do, but he's pulling the trigger here. Out to center field. Hunter Inslee on the run, makes the catch. McCants will tag up at third and a sacrifice fly and an RBI for Evan Slight. And it's a one-run game now. Uh -oh. Went to Wichita State before coming to Tennessee. Ground ball out to second, scooped up there by Moore. He'll just step on the bag. and That one slicing in the gap in right center. Off the bat of Christian Moore. It'll drop in for a base hit. I mean, Slight gets it in in a hurry, and that'll keep Moore at first base. In the air, out to left. Ball drifting. Petrutz to the wall. Makes the catch up against the wall, and that'll end the inning. Getting a little feisty here in Tuscaloosa in this game three between these two rivals really just a moment ago. This is what happened. Christian Moore mm -hmm. just got warned by our home plate umpire, Jason Bradley, as he was chirping toward that Alabama dugout. Before that whole incident, Jason Bradley warned both dugouts about chirping. Didn't really stop there. No, he kept going for another few steps for sure. 
Lifted high and deep in the air. That one will be out of here. A souvenir for the fans of the Crimson Tide in right field. Hodo's sixth home run of the year ties this up at four. That's got to feel good for the senior. A big swing of the bat. Excuse me, junior Will Hodo gets a hanging breaking ball just sitting right in the middle of the plate. And that is a no doubter out there to the student section in right field. Just like that, we got ourselves a tie ball game. Two in the third and one in the fourth. And off the bag, Curly was there and was probably going to make a play. Out to center field. And Inslee is there, shy of the track, so that'll do it for the sixth. We'll head to the seventh. There it is. Simo not happy about that one. That's the old accidental front door breaking ball. First pitch off the bat of Blake Burke as a base hit through the right side. They make a preseason All-American. Slaps this one in the corner to left. That'll bounce off the wall. Petrutz comes up. That'll have the runners at second and third. To the right side. That will get a run in. Eblen will make the play, but Tennessee takes the lead 5-4. Nice job by Kavaris Tears just to get that ball to the right side of the infield. Punch left in them for Alabama. Ground ball to the right side. Eblen, back-to-back -back plays. Looks as though the SEC is going to have eight teams in the NCAA tournament as T.J. McCants squeezes one through the middle there to get on base with nobody out to start the bottom of the seventh for the Tide. Popped up in foul territory. Nice play over there by Amick to get him out. This is a little slow roller back to Snead. He's going to fire over to first. Sharply hit. Curley knocks it down. Only play is over to first. Get bat here with two outs. First pitch popped him up. Hammeter throws the bat down. Ensley makes the catch, and Sneed will leave a runner at third base. It's been a little cool, overcast day in Tuscaloosa. Well, you can hear Slight saying he's got it all the way up here in the press box. And he hit him. Base hit. LeBron will have him first and second and one out. He'll run for Cassetti. He was hit by a pitch. This ball is hit off the barrel out to left. Long run. Oh! And the catch made on the wall by Dylan Dryling. Save the day, perhaps. Uh -oh. And that one sails off the wall. That'll get Gawan Garana over to third base. What a catch in left field by Dylan Dryling. Dylan Dryling has been all over the place today for Tennessee in the outfield, and that is as rangy. Holding his hamstring. Uh-oh. No doubt about it. Alabama has taken the lead on a Gage Miller three-run blast. Hey now. <laughs> hey now, Dave Neal. We we got our first parking lot homer of the year. And just when it looked like Dryling might have saved the day for the balls, Gage Miller with a serious launch piece to straightaway left field. And the bench knew it right away. A ball that one hopped into the parking lot. Watch this one. Almost hits the the car traveling across the street, one hop into the parking lot. What a big swing of the bat right there by Gage Miller. The fastball in there at 87-88, he says, but he'll live in that 85-86 range. 
and spin it with the best of them. Boy, now we're having a meeting of our umpires. What is this discussion about, I wonder? It's kind of strange. Our first base umpire came in and asked for Jason Bradley, our home plate umpire, to get together. They're going to look at Kirby Cannell and see if there's something about the way he's standing on the mound. 3-0, and oh, and four straight are off the plate. Oh, he caught one right. Is that in the rib cage? A little slow roller. Nice play. Glove to glove as Burke and Cannell combine to get the out. 12 home runs last year for NC State. Popped him up. Will it stay in play? It didn't sound like either was very vocal. How many and look times what happens. Seen it? Uh, look How what many happens. times? Boy, Heiberger just slapped his leg like, ugh. High in the air. McCant says he has it. And he does, one down. They're going to go to first. Low throw. Ooh. Miller short armed it over to Hodo. That one shot out to right. That's going to get in for a base hit. They're going to hold everybody up. The bases will be loaded. That was a nasty sequence of pitches right there by Mosin. 3-2 count, bases are loaded in a two-run game. Bounced it. So, no harm done. It was ball mm -hmm. four anyway. Oh, and 2 on Villeneuve. Got him! Ball game!